Hello everyone, and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about green screen. It is often desirable for a photographer to photograph his subjects against a green background, although on occasion they will use a different color, such as blue. Uh, this allows them to then use something called chroma key to eliminate the green and then be swapped out for a different background. Uh, what I'm going to show you is a slightly different method for getting rid of the green in one of these photographs. Uh, I've seen many different tutorials on using layer masks and other methods that are time consuming to say the least. Well, my method is a little bit different. Uh, first, we're going to promote my background to a layer, just like this. And I'm immediately going to go to Select and Color Range. I'm going to choose a tolerance level of about 25. I'm going to click the Show Selection button. I'm going to change the preview to Overlay. And then I'm just going to grab the Add Color Eyedropper and click in the background. And we're going to click several times until, as you can see, we get as much of this green gone as possible. So we're going to say that, just like that, and say OK. Now at first it looks as if we're eliminating some of the hair, but when I click clear, I think you'll notice that we still have most of the hair left. In fact, almost all of it. We're going to deselect, and I'm going to add a new layer, like this. This is just so that I can put a color in the background, so that we can see the green fringe a little bit better. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back to my layer, and I'm going to add this layer to a group. Group the layer, and the only reason I would do that is because when I add the next step, which is selective color, I don't want the selective color to affect any other layer other than this one. So I'm going to click selective, I'm going to click on this layer, click selective color, and now this allows me to play around with the green fringe. I'm going to select green. I'm going to select absolute. And I'm going to immediately take magenta all the way to the top. You can see that almost eliminates all of it entirely. We're going to take some of the yellow down. A little bit. Some of the black down. Or actually maybe up. Yeah, maybe up a little bit more. I'm going to take the cyan down. And at that stage right there, we've almost completely eliminated the green entirely. Now, just to see how it looks on a different background, we're going to change the gradient fill. And we're going to choose something wild here. And like that. Looks pretty good, but one more test and we're going to add an entirely different background. Maybe this fall trees. We'll select the resize. And just give our model a different background. As you can see, we have almost completely eliminated the green effect that was surrounding her body. And the nice thing about this particular method is that no matter what background you put in here, you can always go to the selective color setting and start adjusting again to fit different backgrounds. 
So that's some um, just one alternative method for getting rid of green screen. Happy painting everyone.